the oldest town on earth, home to the disappearing religion. And today it is a sacred day when all Yazidis unite at their holiest shrine in the city called Lalesh. Let's discover who are the Yazidis and why Lalesh is the holiest and the oldest place on earth. The first time I heard about the Yazidis is when I was traveling in Kurdistan, the northern part of Iraq. My friend Mohammed told me. And of course, I love Lalesh. Lalesh is the holy city of Yazidis. It's so different, so unique. And once a year, there is a special celebration that only happens in Lalesh. So I knew. I can't miss it. But here is a problem. Right now I'm in Dahok and Lalesh is here. There are no buses and the only way to get there is by car. Before I tell you how we got there, let me introduce the team. Five heroes. Polish, Russian, Belgian, Mexican and local. But none of us has a car. Well, we're gonna hitchhike from Duhok. We're a bit too many people here. We're five and that's why cars don't really want to stop yet. If we fit, it's okay. If we fit. Wanna try? <laughs> really? Just blood. <laughs> Five people on the back of a car. <laughs> we just passed the checkpoint and we had a Mexican in the trunk and so good they didn't say anything about that. <laughs> and we are getting closer to Lalesh. So we just passed the second checkpoint and go this road leads us directly to Lalit. 20, 20 minutes left. No free, I'll just stop. No money. No money. No money. Huh. Okay. Starting from this point we have to continue barefoot. I don't know why. Why do we need to go barefoot? Because it's a holy place, that's why. It's a temple. I'm sure that's gonna oh, be. shoes are and you're wearing other shoes. Oh, oh you're cheating. No. cheating. You can. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so today it's very crowded here. And all of these people, they are Yazidis and they came here to celebrate their holiday. We, we are going to learn very soon. We're going to find our guide who will tell us a lot about this place. Lalesh is like a mecca for Yazidis. I have heard a lot from locals that this is a must visit place, especially if we are so lucky to see the main celebration of the year. Yazidism is an ancient religion and they believe in seven angels. Yazidis believe that Lalesh was the first place created after the Big Bang and that this place was the Garden of Eden. These temples are more than 4,000 years old and they were built by early Mesopotamian civilizations. This is the only place in the world where you can see Yazidi people, understand their culture, see their religion. Yazidis have a lot of old traditions and beliefs about making wishes. For example, burning candles. Every day they light 375 candles here to bring the light back to the temple. And this small gate is a gate where women who want to have kids but can't come to make a wish and get blessed to have kids. Hugging a tree. Well, if you're capable to, to hug the tree, you can make a wish. Walking around the grave. I believe if they walk around three times, make three circles, they can make a wish that will come true. So they have a they have a tradition that if they can throw the scarf on top of that thing, they can make a wish. <laughs> Not even close. Mm -hmm. You see this black underground room? This is where Yazidis store olive oil. Making olive oil is one of the main sources of income in this town. As you can see, the whole floor is covered with so much old compressed oil that it even looks like asphalt. At the end of this underground, there is a special room that only Yazidis can enter. This is a holy place of worship for them. They invited us for the tea bought some snacks and even invited us to stay for the dinner. There are only 500,000 Yazidis left in the world and one of the reasons is that they can't marry outside of their religion. They can only be born into the religion. So this kid is now going to be baptized. So that's how they turn a newborn into Yazidi. 
These countries so diverse. I've met Kurdish, Yazidi, Arabic, and Christian people. There are more than five religions on this land, and they all live together in peace with each other. There is such a big cultural and religious diversity in Kurdistan, generosity and kindness of people. Question everything you have been told. Places like this challenge your perception of the world. Today we learned a little more about this ancient culture. All towns like this one have very strong energy and thousands of stories to tell. And this, this one was mine. I'm grateful that I was able to touch this part of the history of our wonderful planet. Watch this video where I hitchhiked across two countries, 1,900 kilometers in 96 hours with only $10 in my pocket.